copyright disclaimer. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Matis. I make daily video about business, legal, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property. In this video, we're going to talk about why copyright disclaimer, and we're going to discuss some things that you can use and which you cannot use. And I'm going to tell you why you should use disclaimer and why not. So let's start. First thing first, um, in order to understand what the copyright disclaimer is, we need to understand what is a copyright disclaimer. So what is a disclaimer? If you look at the definition, in a disclaimer, it includes any liabilities for the product or service to which it is attached to. The purpose of it is to inform consumers of any risk or hazard possessed by a product. It should list accurate risk while at the same time verify that the list is not exhaustive. For example, one can additionally write the notes of risk. So that's a disclaimer, that's the definition. But uh, if you look at copyright, you can have a disclaimer, but you don't really need to. But let's look at what, um, what is a copyright disclaimer under the section of 107. Copyright disclaimer according to the section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 states that the interest is generated for fair use of ideas such as review, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, learning, and research. Fair use is a purpose that is authorized by copyright enactment or will be violated. The thing is, there are a lot of def definitions out there about disclaimer and um, people don't really explain what it really is. And technically a disclaimer is just you inform, inform the person that's using your work of what you work, whatever you want. It's not, that you, it's not like it is an agreement between you and another person. Because an agreement, if you look at the whiteboard, if you look at an agreement, you have one person, it can be a person, it can be a company, they accept the terms, you have an autograph, signature, it doesn't matter, you have it, they accept the terms, then you have an agreement. But if you look at disclaimer, it's just something that you write down and you inform other people. So I write a disclaimer down, I put it on my website, or I put it beneath my video, or one sentence, doesn't matter how long it is. You just inform people about the risk. But the thing is, it's just you making a statement. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. You don't need that. You don't need to do that. You don't need that. Right. If you want to scare off people, do it. If you want to scare off people, notify them that they listen. It's copyright protected. If you use it, you have a problem with me. Do it. If you don't, don't do it. You do not need to. If someone uses your work without your permission, you do not need a disclaimer to say, hey, I told you not to use it. Because if they use it without your permission, you can still sue them. You understand what I mean? Okay. So disclaimer, I think it's BS, but uh, most time you can use it to scare off people. And when you use it, you put it on your video. If you make video on YouTube or other places, you can put a disclaimer behind, um, on the need say, hey, this copyright protected. If you use it without my permission, I will go after you. But if you look at fair use, so if you look back, fair use, fair use in another video I'll explain exactly what it is and how you can use it in your advantage. But if you look at fair use, fair use gives you the possibility to use other people's copyright. The problem with that is you need to meet the requirement. And the thing is, Sometimes one of the requirements is that you need to put an attribution of the original work. Okay? Yeah, and that you can put in your disclaimer. And if, some, if you use someone else's work and they have a problem with that, you can put, hey, if you have a problem with this, you can contact me and then we will see what we're going to do. That you can put in a disclaimer. So there are different kinds of situations when you put something in disclaimer and when not, and it depends on your situation. If it's just to inform them that you have copyright, put it. If you want to scare off people, put it. Otherwise, don't. If you make a website and you say it's copyright protected, put it beneath. Doesn't matter. As soon as someone copy, uh, copy something and you register and you can prove you are the first one, you can sue them. It's that simple. Yeah. 
So why copyright disclaimer? Disclaimer, you have a lot of disclaimer out there. It's just a statement. It's just a statement. And it depends on your situation when you use one and when you do not use one. If you have questions about this, feel free to contact me. If you want to know more of these things about disclaimer and tricks that you can use, feel free to watch other videos. I will make more videos about this, but then for a specific situation. And I will see you in the next video.